T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed uh, just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant sense sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston, you're going throttle up. Yeah, you're going throttle up. Roger, Columbia, on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. One minute, 45 seconds, coming up on go, no, go. Columbia, you're in negative seat. Uh, that call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Mark. Columbia, you're go for SRV step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRV step confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the set, Columbia. Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Check out for this year. Mark, uh, two minutes, 30 seconds. On, gui on board guidance is converging as program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark, 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark, uh, 2 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. Columbia. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two engine rotor yeah, capability. Mark, Roger. 3 minutes. Young and Crippen really moving out now. Velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark, uh, 3 minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark, uh, 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. Mark, uh, three minutes, 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Mark, 
3 minutes 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, uh, press stand on. by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on negative Mark, return. Press for Miko. Roger, press for Miko. Mark, uh, four minutes, eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark, negative return. And your map is good. Mark, uh, four minutes, 25. Five seconds with that. With that call up from okay. Capcom. Capcom, Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Crippen can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia, Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool uh, Columbia. Roger, Roger stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, four minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as programmed. Columbia now 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical miles down. Glad you're enjoying it. Mark, uh, four minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. Uh, a status check and mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia, Houston, you're go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3, 4. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, uh, 40 seconds. That call up from Capcom, Brandon okay, Stein, says that Columbia is trajectory navigation and engine performance. Look good. Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're correct. 